So in this week's Photoshop design tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to do a simple Cravings logo in Photoshop. So hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Photoshop design tutorial. My name is Manny and you can find me over at retardpro.com. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do a very simple Cravings logo in Photoshop. It's going to include a few text layers, I think two and one shape. So yeah, let's get right away into it. Okay, so over in Photoshop, on my right hand side here in the Layers palette, you guys get to see already we have two folders. One is again the background and on top of that is the logo. So today it's all about Cravings. We're going to work with a few text elements and as well some shapes again. So let me also close this and open the background and get right away started with explaining the background. I'm not going to show the whole complete uh, uh, technique here. I'm just going to show how to create the logo. This you guys might know already. So first of all, we're going to start out just again with a black background here, black simple canvas. And then on top of that, we have a food image. So right away, it's cropped and visually nice, a very close up picture here. And you guys can see the saturation of the reds is quite intense. So what I also did now is added another adjustment layer here. And in the red tones under the masters, we took down the saturation to like minus 38. Okay, let's switch this on and you guys can see this the before and after, before and after, quite desaturated there. Okay, great. So that's all for the background so far. And then on top, obviously, the Cravings logo. So let's get started with that. First of all, I'm going to go to View and say New Guide over here. I'm going to say 50%. So we first have a guideline in the center. Again, back to View, New Guide once again. And now this time vertically, again, 50%. Great, so we already have our center point here and we can align our logo around it. I'm going to select the text tool over here on the left hand side. Again, if you guys are also new to this, have a look on the channel. I've got a lot of tutorials where I'm teaching you how to work with the individual tools. So let's make a bit of a smaller selection here. Inside of this selection, we're going to write now our first word, which would be crave. We're not going to write cravings because remember, have a look quickly here. We're first of all going to write crave. And then the fork is going to be the E, and then inks. Okay, so I will turn this off again, make another selection over here, and write Crave. Okay, let's select all of that, and we've already got the same and the correct font. Let's just make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to go with something like 130. Okay, it's a little bit too big. Uh, let's also have a look at our tracking. So on the right hand side here, you will have a box called characters. If you don't have that, go to windows and select character box here. And under the character box, you will have tracking. So switch that back to zero and we have zero tracking on this right away. So now we can actually push this a little bit further. Let me go up to like 138, 39. I think 138 would be good. Great, I'm going to keep that. I have already selected the right font here also, which is called Nexa Light Regular. If you guys want to know more about this, have a look down below in the description. Everything is listed for you. Then as well, we're going to select a white foreground color here, just with the color picker. OK. And we're going to accept it here via the tick of the top menu. OK, V on the keyboard to get it back into the Move tool. I'm going to move this down and place it somewhere over here for now. Now, I can either do this step again, or I can just duplicate this in order to work quicker. So I'm going to do that and press Command J, just duplicate that layer, and we can just drag it over. So right away we have a copy of this. First of all, I'm going to write here again, A and G, N G S. sorry, for Cravings, okay? And we also, with the text tool, press T on the keyboard, selecting the crav, Crave, <laughs> and then we're going to write Ings at the end. Okay, all in capital A again. Ings right away. Great. So I'm going to move this a little bit over and now we still have to create the fork. So as you guys can see, let's actually turn all of this over. So create wings. We have to still create a fork. Okay, let me select all of these layers here. I'm going to turn off the top logo layer, move that also down. So we have, this is our original, and this is what we have created. So I'm basically holding Command on the keyboard. If you're working with a Windows computer, every time I say Command, you have to press Control. So I'm going to select all three of them. So for the Windows people, please press Control now. Mac, please press Command. I'm going to press also Command G, and put everything together in a group, and write here Logo 2. 
Okay, let's do that. Logo 2. There we go. Then I'm going to also open it again. And first of all, going to get my fork. So I'm going to press U on the keyboard. That brings me right away into the custom shape tools over here. Okay, and I'm going to go to my shape library. So right away, you guys will see I have a ton of shapes uh, here in my library. If you also want to get some of these shapes, have a look in the description down below. There's a link where you can download again all of these shapes for two bucks only. Okay, so let's select also the fork over here. And I'm going to make the fork a little bit bigger, something like this. So I'm going to click on the canvas and hold shift here so it's equally expanding. You guys can see the fork here is, if I don't press it, it will just distort and go in any direction. So press shift so it's equally expanding. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that and just zoom in a little bit closer so you guys can see here's the shape. I will now double click onto this because currently it is white. I can also press back U and fill this here with a foreground color if you wish. Say something like this, or green, pink, whatever I want to. Blue. I'm going to not do it here um, because I want to do it a quicker way. I'm going to double click here onto the shape layer, get into the layer styles, and over here I'm going to select color overlay and going to pick a turquoise color or I'm not really sure the what this color is called but you guys can get the values down here in order to copy this again okay I'm gonna go with no with something like this maybe a little bit darker okay and the values are down here I'm gonna hit okay and okay so let's zoom out a little bit I think that fork is still a little bit too big let's move it down a bit I'm just selecting the layer and then drag this down a bit. Okay, and I don't want it to be at the bottom so much. So press Command T again, hold Shift on the keyboard and select an anchor point on the side and you're just making it slightly smaller. Hit Enter and I'm gonna move this up. Again, Command T, I'm gonna do this step once again. Hold Shift on the keyboard, select an anchor point and making this even more smaller. Okay, something like this, maybe even a bit bigger. Okay. I'm going to select enter there again and have it right away like this. So now it should say cravings. So now if you want to move this a bit closer, you can actually just select the NGS text layer here and move that a little bit closer in. And then also the crab, you can move that a little bit closer in. So you now have obviously a variety and the free choice of moving things around here. Okay, let's also select the shape layer. We can select the complete group over here and just move things a little bit into the center here. Okay, and I think I need to move the crab and the NGS still a little bit in. Okay, that's for the first part, just the crave wings. And then I'm also gonna add now another slogan to this. So again, press T on the keyboard, get into the text tool. I'm gonna make a nice big long selection over here so I can write quite a few words. So first of all, I'm gonna write catering because this lady is doing catering, um, but we already have a problem, we don't see anything. So let's first of all choose our new foreground color here. I'm gonna to go to white, okay. I'm also gonna make this very small, something like 10 to 15. Okay, let's start with 15. And I see my tracking here is also completely broken. So let's go and just hit here zero. Okay, that is all set. And I'm also going with Nexa Light Regular Air once again. Again, guys, you can find this down below in the description. Okay, catering it is. Then we're also going to add just a stripe here. We're going to go further with events. So it's basically just putting in all the little elements and all the categories that this lady is doing. Kind of your slogan. You're catering, you're doing events, you're doing corporate stuff and private chef. Okay, so we've got all of that in. Just select Command A, select everything. And I'm going to move the tracking up quite a lot now. So maybe something like 400. Yeah, we can actually do a little bit more, 500. Yes, hit Enter for that. And first of all, the Move tool again. And I'm just going to move this slightly under the logo. And it's still a little bit too big for this. So let's select all of this again. So just with Command A. First of all, with the text tool, select it, and then Command A, you can select everything. And I'm going to go down to something like 450 for the tracking. Yeah, that's great. Okay, hit Enter on your keyboard, and I'm just moving this slightly into the middle. 
Okay, and that's basically it already for the tutorial. I'm just going to go to view, clear the guides, and first of all just zoom out a little bit to get a feeling if I should move in the CREV and the NGS a little bit closer, which I will still do. I will also move this catering and the whole slogan into the Logo 2 group. Let's just select NGS and move this slightly closer and also craving in slightly closer, something like that. So your distances here are maybe the same on both sides. Okay, and then select your whole logo group and you can still move that a little bit around if you don't feel it's not in the center right now. Yeah guys, so that is basically it for creating a super easy Cravings logo in Photoshop. Again, remember you can still stretch your shape, it will not distort and or you can choose a different one. Remember, you can also have a look down below in the description is a link to our monthly subscription package for everything that we create here at Tronix. So if you're like me and just can't get enough of Photoshop, click on the button right now to subscribe. We send out free Photoshop tutorials every single week. So yeah guys, don't forget to hit up the thumbs up if you like it and leave a comment down below. So, you are still here and still watching. So this most probably means you are interested in some more content. Then, wait no longer, just click here on the left side is some more tutorials just for you. Final from beginner to pro to intermediate, everything that you want to know. Or, have a look in the description down below is a link to our $5 monthly subscription package for everything that we created at Tronics. So yeah, thanks again guys for watching, see you next time.